today I'm going to share some gift ideas and how to um, package them and how to gift them nicely. The first one is um, an Alice in Wonderland theme. Um, this is for twin girls. So I got these uh, little purses um, last year from Primark specifically for this reason. And these were originally five pounds reduced down to two pounds. So I've got um, the drink me little bottle with Alice on and the rabbit. So um, I'm going to use those. So I'm just going to um, see if I can get the labels off. I always find it sometimes very hard in certain things to to get the um, labels off. I don't know whether anybody else has had this problem on um, certain items. B&M being the worst, I think, to try and get the labels off. So I'll just get those off. So I do like to present gifts in different ways if I can and nicely. Right, so they're the two purses. And I'm just going to actually take out the packaging. So I don't want to leave the packaging in. So I think they, they've had some lovely um, Disney purses um, at Primark. And the reason why I've taken them out is because I want to put some money in both the purses. I don't just like to give money. I like to present it in a f some form of way. So that's why I'm going to put a little bit of money in there. And I got this little um, tin trough. Now I got this from Oxfam some while ago and this was 99p. As I said, I like to um, get packaging and nice ways of actually um, presenting the gifts. So I'm going to use this. And then to go with it, I have got the Walt Disney Alice in Wonderland DVD. So that's going to go in like so. And then I'm going to add in the two little purses that I've got the money in, like so. Um, I'm going to, I think I will actually um, bring it up a little bit. Sorry for the noise. I'm going to put, decided I'm going to put some tissue paper in, I think, just to. like so just to bring it up and like so and then to finish that I got the Alice in Wonderland combs these were 150 each reduced down to 50p um, I said they are girly girls so I'm just going to take that off can't get the other label out without ripping the um, so, and then I can put a comb in either side like that and then that is the Alice in Wonderland mini um, bucket for twin girls and then what I will do is I will put some cellophane on it which I will show you in a moment the next one I'm going to do is 
a Harry Potter theme. Um, I've got the book. wasn't able to get the pens and pencils, unfortunately, at the time. And I've got the Ravenclaw um, bag here. Um, I've got the book, £2.50 from um, the works. So I'm just going to take that off like so. So I do hate some of these labels. I'm trying to get them off. Especially when they're gifts. As I said, I've got a busy um, month this month with birthdays, Mother's Day, etc. So I've got quite a lot of gifts and everything. As I get aside, I do not like just giving money. So with this gift, I am going to give some money as well. Um, this person is a Harry Potter th um, fan and they do have a Harry Potter bedroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, this tissue paper. Sorry for the rustle. And I'm going to wrap it up. So, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little bit of um, cellophane on this just to protect the tissue paper. So, I'll show you that in a moment. And there we have the Alice in Wonderland um, bucket um, with the cellophane on. So, that is for twin girls. And the boy I have got the Harry Potter book with the money inside and then what I'll do is I will just present it in one of these Poundland um, Harry Potter bag Ravenclaw um, so he's got the bag as well so that is two gift ideas as I said it's just nice um, to be able to present them in a way that any person would love to receive a gift this time I'm going to make a movie bucket using this popcorn bucket that I got from Pound World um, before it closed down and um, this is for my brother so first of all I'm going to add some Pepsi Max in here um, some Heroes chocolates and these M&Ms so these two items and the DVDs I got from Poundland and they came from Iceland um, then I'm going to include a selection of 
snacks, some crisps. I wasn't able to get the popcorn. Um, the only popcorn I could get was the um, popcorn you do in the microwave. I couldn't actually get the ready-made popcorn this time. Um, so I've, I'm just adding crisps. And then into the bucket, I'm adding um, two DVDs. Um, which I've got from Poundland, which is Daybreakers and Priest. So I'm going to put those in like so. so. Right, I've gone into my stash and I found this hamper kit, which includes the acetate sheet, um, ribbon, bow and tissue paper. Right, so I've got the cellophane on, so now all I'm going to do is um, use the bow that was included in the package. And all you do, if you haven't seen these bows before, is obviously just pull like so. It makes a bow like that. And then you just wrap it around your gift. I did put a elastic band in place on this one. just secure it another knot in the back like so and then with the scissors I'm just going to give it a bit of a curl like so I'm going that down the front. I just thought I'd take the camera off its stand just to show you um, how it looks along with the bow. And as I said, there is the movie bucket. Right, I'm going to make another quick gift um, using this um, three drawer um, box that I got from B&M for four pounds. Um, do excuse the rustle while I just take um, the cellophane off. I do not like these BM labels um, because sometimes they're really hard to actually remove. Sorry about that, my doorbell went, so I'm having to do a voiceover because we ended up having visitors. So here's the three draw box and I'm going to fill it with um, different bits and pieces starting with this EOS hand cream I just had to fold over the card bit back in because I didn't really want to take it out of the packaging um, just to get it in the top drawer as I said I've done this a few times for different people I just like these little mini drawers and putting little surprise pieces inside so using this little pink box that I actually believe I got it from the card factory um, it has got a price of 49p on but whether I paid that I can't remember because I've had it some while 
so I've got this out of my um, wrapping station stash. This is why I like to keep these little bits and pieces. So in this middle drawer, I'm giving um, a selection of um, earrings. So I'm just putting a little bit of tissue paper in this little box. And then I'm going to place um, a pair of earrings, leaving them on the piece of card in the box. With the next pair of earrings um, I've got, I'm using this little ball ball again from my um, wrapping station stash. As I keep saying, I do save all these pieces because you never know when you're going to use them. And this came with some like um, like metallic um, paper, so I've left that inside the little ball ball, and I'm just putting the earrings in. Um, just to make it look nice. I'm just making sure that the backings are on the earrings so they don't get lost. And then just put the ribbon back on the ball ball. And the final pair of earrings I'm putting in this little plastic box. Um, I possibly had some earrings in this box a while back, but I kept the package in. It, once again, comes in handy. And as I say, putting the last pair of earrings presented in this box. And that is the middle drawer. Now for the final drawer. In this one, I'm including this duo nail varnish polish that I got from Poundland and the pale pink lipstick. And then what I decided in the end was to put some tissue paper in just to um, secure it. So that's all three drawers then completed. And then what I'm doing is I'm then going to, as I do with most of my gifts, if you haven't realised, is I'm just going to cover it in cellophane.
and I like to present it with a nice ribbon and bow. And then I would just pull the sides together and secure it with some tape. I did it this way with this one rather than use wrapping paper because the box is so sweet and pretty with the flower design. Um, plus you can't actually see the gifts so I just thought it made it look um, lovely just leaving the box as it was. And the plastic actually um, does protect the box so it doesn't get damaged. And there is the last of the gifts. I just altered the camera so you can see it. I hope you've enjoyed these gift ideas. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.